Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another how to excel at excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the how to excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hello, and welcome back to my next video. Today, we're going to look at how to sum only positive numbers in a data set. So that is when you've got a mixture of positive and negative numbers. Perhaps you have some sales values and some refund values like we have in this example. I've got an extract of some sales transactions for the 1st of January 2019. And we have some sales and we have some refunds in there. So what we're going to do today is sum only the sales in our data set or the positive numbers in our data set. So how do we do this? We can do this by using the SUMIF formula. SUMIF. And Excel quickly will show us a brief explanation of what the function does. And this adds the cells specified by a given condition or criteria. It sounds exactly like what we need. We're going to say the given condition or criteria is a positive number in this example. OK, so let's start. OK, so let's start by hitting equals and type some if and open our parentheses. OK, let's type some if and open our parentheses. And this will show us the arguments that Excel needs to carry out this function. First of all, we need to put in the range, which is B4 to 15, comma. The criteria is we want positive numbers. So what we do is we're going to say greater than zero. So that makes sense. Press comma again, and the sum range is the same actually in this example as our range. Let's close the parentheses and hit OK. So the sales we made, so the total of the sales is 168.46. So that, ex that number excludes our refunds. If we just go back to the formula, any text criteria or criteria that includes logical or mathematical symbols, which is we're using because we're using the greater than, we have to use the quotation marks. That is why I put greater than zero, enclosed in quotation marks. So we'll just call this, so we'll just call this total sales. And let's reverse it while we're here, do the total of refunds. So this time we'll be looking at less than zero. So. Let's type sum if the range is the same. The criteria in this case is less than zero. Again, we have to put it in the quotation marks because it's a, a mathematical symbol. And the sum range so for this extract, we had 168.46 in sales and the total refunds. 42.50. Now we can just check that this is correct by just doing a quick sum of our values and that comes to 125.96. So let's sum this and this and that should come to the same. And it does. So that's how simple it is to sum only positive numbers in your data set. It's particularly useful if you want to exclude any refunds, especially in transactional data. 
But do bear in mind if you use any text criteria or any criteria that includes logical or mathematical symbols, you have to enclose them in quotation marks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget if you want to have three Excel tips every month, direct to your inbox, sign up to my How to Excel at Excel newsletter. The link is in the description below. And I'll see you next time for another Excel tip video.